Hello everybody and welcome to a wet, blustery Daytona Beach. Well, Christmas is upon us again. And the scriptures say that in the same region there were shepherds out in the field keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. Christmas, a day chosen by people around the world to remember and celebrate the birth of the Savior, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Christmas is an important time here in the USA. Many people live their lives with no knowledge of God in their lives, and sadly, Christmas and Easter are the only national holidays we have that actually champions the birth and resurrection of the Son of God, who through His resurrection opened the door for men and women to be eternally reconciled with their Creator. Now, the United States was firmly founded upon the Christian faith and the biblical principles for life, rang through the halls of our government, the schools, Cities were proud to display the Ten Commandments and everyone, including the scoundrels, knew that the great day of judgment was coming when they would answer to God Almighty for every word and deed in this life. That knowledge was the most powerful deterrent to corruption in governments and bad behavior among the people. We have now lost that knowledge in the USA and the scoundrels are running rampant. Now, were there still scoundrels back in the good old days? <laughs> yeah, sure there were, but they knew what they were facing and they chose to walk the path of corruption. Now, over the last 50 years or so, the enemies of God have systematically stomped out the Christian message in America. We now have two generations who have been robbed of a biblical foundation for their lives, and that makes Christmas more important today than ever before. The Christians of America must use the Christmas season to champion the message of salvation that came to us as a baby in a manger, the Son of God born of a virgin, crucified and resurrected to defeat sin and death. Now, the lyrics of the great Christmas carols are beautifully stunning in their reverence for God. I play them all year round. Now, you can bet that the enemies of God are working hard to stomp out Christmas in America. How long before some court jester declares Christmas to be unconstitutional? I saw one headline that a city was taking down its annual Christmas tree because it is offensive to Muslims. Well, it's not the tree. It's the message of salvation that offends. A message that offends not just the Muslims, it's offensive to the liberal left, the communists, and, well, sinners in general. Does that mean that we should eliminate the Christmas message to avoid offending people? Absolutely not. It's, it's like a drowning man who, when a Christian threw him a life ring, got mad because the Christian was throwing things at him. The Christmas message leads lost people to the Savior, and the more the enemies of God try to silence the message, the louder and stronger we must proclaim that message. I thank God this Christmas season for the men and women of faith who boldly proclaim the message of the cross in America. Thank you for watching, and America, bless God again.